the Kelly Crown, the 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 Crown,
Zoom play. seconds into the contest a lot of the play revolving around center field as you would expect John the Baptist fire this one through towards their inside forward line that includes Ono Mahoney beaten to it by Aaron Maloney support coming from Bradley Higgins in the end this day made broken up picked up by Ono Mahoney Ono Mahoney with half an opportunity. That looks like that looks like that looks John the Baptist of Hospital, gathered by Kevin Bonner of Bruff. Bonner now for his team advancing forward. He's going on the ground. 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 He's going on the 
three points to the good. Yet to settle Rice College of Venice. Perhaps this will set them up neatly. Right beneath us here. Linesman has kept his flag down for now, anyhow. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, nice ball to Keane McInerney. McInerney drives this one towards the goal, and that's a very good score. They needed that. Yeah, good score, man, in fairness to him. And as I said, just worked the ball well there. And you can see, I suppose, what we're trying to do. We're trying to get a bit of possession here in the own half-back line, use the ball, and then score from distance, because they don't have that many options inside. The margin is down to just a very manageable two points inside the early stages of this match. Bradley Higgins, Alan Culligan. Culligan in possession. Right now, it's Rory Brennan, Connor Kearns. That's out. A line ball is going the way of John the Baptist of Hospital, who lead in this match by two points. Yeah, and that guy Alan Culligan just mentioned there, man, he's the player that has withdrawn. You can see clearly that they have two players in the full forward line. So, yeah, I, I think it'll be very much possession orientated for, for Rice College and trying to use it as best they can. That's been partially blocked and it's picked up by Owen Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald whacks it down towards his full forward line. Hospital reading the situation ever so well, and that's Kevin Bonner. Clearance is completed by the centre half back, Paul O'Heaney, all the way down as far as Riney Tobin. Tobin beaten to this time, Rice College Venice emerging, Connor Kearns. The advantage has been allowed by the Tipperary official advancing, it's Morgan Gary. Gary looking for options, there's only one really, and it's down here in the left corner forward position. That's out. Oshin Cahill, the player that was battling for the possession. Carl O'Halloran has decided to leave it behind and it's going to be Owen Fitzgerald that's going to take the resulting sideline cut. Owen Fitzgerald, that's a nice clip and it's a very dangerous ball for the defence to deal with. Almost conceding a 65, it's still very much alive here for Rice College of Venice. Far back towards Morgan Gary, doesn't work out. Big booming ball downfield by Dylan O'Shea. Whole host of players looking for it. Rory Brennan emerges with a slither short ball to Owen Fitzgerald. Rice College are coming back into the game. Keen McInerney's effort has been blocked. Rory Brennan, Owen Fitzgerald right now. Fitzgerald for Ennis, short ball as far as Culligan. He's fouled and this is within scoring range. Yeah, certainly in the last few minutes, Royce College definitely using the ball a bit better. Their defence kind of here in the half-back line, they have an extra man as I here. Definitely winning a bit more position now in their forward, starting to see a bit more ball and a little bit of a let off there for Hospital. Could really have gone anywhere that touch and I said, look, kind of not to concede. As things stand, eight minutes into the opening half of the Munster under-18 and a half B hurling final. The Limerick's team, John the Baptist of Hospital, lead their clear counterparts, Rice College Venice, by two points. That margin could well be reduced to one here, courtesy of Connor Tierney. Tierney, 50 odd yards out from the goal, didn't strike that one all that well. So wide for Connor Tierney, a little yeah. bit unlucky, he didn't really strike Just it. didn't catch it cleanly, I'd be disappointed with it, I suppose he would have been expected to score that, but first wide for, for Rice College. Brian Heavey, good distance in this goal puck out by the hospital goalkeeper. Grabbed by Sean Teefy. Teefy finding Riney Tobin. Tobin onto his preferred right side, but again it's drifted. Those chances going a begging for the hospital team. That's maybe four wides or so now. Yeah, and, and, and as I said, look, they, they started pretty well. Rice College coming to a little bit more now. So yeah, look, you need to be, when you create them, man, the bottom line is you need to take them. Eamon Foody brings play to the open stand side of the Gaelic grounds and a lovely afternoon for this Munster College's hurling decider. Here's Paul O'Heaney, a little bit of ball juggling, he holds on to possession, 
smacks it forward only a one man inside forward line right now for the hospital team but they have possession and the right man maybe has it Riney Tobin but things not going according to plan so far for the corner forwards yeah a couple of misses there as I said yeah, disappointed with that himself for Riney but you can see it's kind of tactical enough as I said a lot of players kind of gathered between the two 45s um, plenty of crowding around there and I mean both full forward lines probably struggling to kind of have numbers up there Ball dropping towards midfield. That's a very impressive take by Keane McInerney. Deserved the free. Every bit of it. Keane McInerney of the Ina Kildamona Club. Good spread of clubs on the Innes team as well, with the likes of Aero Og, Kilmaley represented, Clooney Quinn, Dura Bearfield. Yeah, strong clubs too. Good hurling clubs. Conor Tierney will have been disappointed with his earlier opportunity of a score, but that this is a long way out in fairness to the Dura Bearfield corner forward, Conor Tierney. Tierney pops this one towards the goal and he's measured it very well. Conor Tierney, second point for his team. The margin between them is down to the bare minimum. And he had a new survey when he hit that, definitely caught it much better. Cleaner strike, and you'd have to say a good score from there. Brian Heavey looking at his options. A little bit of bunching. It falls nicely for Rice College of Venice. It's very close to the line. The injured player there actually is Cahal Ruan of Dura Bearfield. He was meant to play at number 12, but has missed out today's walking the sidelines there. Disappointed not to be involved. Off the ball, there's an injury. Halloran of Clooney Quinn is receiving attention. But play will resume anyhow in a moment with this resulting line ball. Just seems to be some sort of yeah, yeah, concern for the, the management team, anyhow, yeah. They've had their fair share of injuries throughout the, the campaign. They could do without losing a player like yeah, Conor Halloran. They've, they've, they've lost a couple of players, a couple of decent players already, like, so I'm sure they won't lose. Yeah, he looks to be OK and um, he's, he's, he's resuming. Yeah, that's the view of Dr. TJ Ryan. Play continues. Possession retained by John the Baptist and Mikey O'Grady. Lost, though, Killian Rohan. He, in turn, looking for possession back. Linesman has flagged it. It's going to be a line ball for Rice College. The game is beginning to liven up after a relatively tame start. Connor Kearns with possession. Drills it down along the line. It's kept in play, if only momentarily. It's going to be another advantage. Rice College winning it on that occasion. Oshane Cahill. Owen Fitzgerald to send this one for. That's a very good strike. Can anybody get a touch with it? It's held inside. Rice College looking for an opportunity. Connor Tierney. A little bit unlucky that the ball ran away from him and he lost his hurley. Might be available now for Connor Devitt. Way over on the right wing, but that's dropped wide. Certainly was a chance. They've had a couple of goal scoring opportunities at Rice College of Venice. Yeah, they certainly have. You'd have to say possession very well won there. Just unlucky to lose his hurley at the wrong time, but definitely possession well won in the box by Connor Tierney. Brian O'Grady gets it away. Up to his half forward line, drops behind towards Bradley Higgins' territory. Hospital have done enough to earn themselves a free. This is within range. They haven't scored in a while. That's Owen Sheehan that has won the free. Riley Tobin was involved as well. Yeah, I just probably, I, I suppose, needed to kind of get something there. But you can see there, I said Rice College are freeing up Bradley Higgins there in the centre back position. He's kind of playing as a free man, extra man back there. He's definitely winning good bit of position in the last seven or eight minutes and he's paying dividends. But yeah, a bit of a turnover there now and good free one by Owen Sheehan. Here's a chance. Should be within range, and it is. Second point for Dylan O'Shea, the free taker. Yeah, good.
good free again by Dylan. But you have to say, open 13 minutes here, pretty decent enough game. As I said, maybe a little bit tame. The opening story would be just a few missed opportunities by hospital. But, I mean, you'd have to say overall, reasonably level enough game. Keen McInerney, as far as he's two men inside forward line, knocked out by the John the Baptist defender. Clearance is completed by Paul O'Heaney. Mark Quinlan is having a tidy enough match back in the right corner back position. Oh, but play Rice College in themselves are free. This is Connor Kearns. Takes it very quickly. Is that a good option? It was fired towards Keen McInerney. It's worked out for Hospital. Kieran O'Donnell. O'Donnell forced to go backwards. Clearance only finds Owen Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald has drilled this one outside his intended target. Yeah, Keane McInerney made a very good run through the middle there. Just the pass was just very, very slightly over hit, like, but you'd have to say a very, very good run through the middle. I mentioned earlier of the spread of clubs on the Innes team. Emily Kiltili, Gary Spillane, Palace Green, Paddockswell, Ballybricken, Hospital Herberstown. Some of the teams flying the flag on the hospital selection. This is a free, difficult angle, but it's a chance for... John the Baptist of Hospital to extend their lead for the second time to three points. Free taker is Dylan O'Shea, as per usual. Just inside his 45 attacking side of the ground, Dylan O'Shea in search of his third point. Eyeing up the target, umpire is reaching for the white flag. He's a very good free taker. Is the midfielder Dylan O'Shea? Yeah, three out of three, and I said important scores. And I said, look, they've kind of pushed out to a three-point lead now. So, yeah, just kind of starting to make the scoreboard count. They're looking for something further, and another they have one. another free. Ty Gledden and Owen Sheehan, and the players involved on that occasion. We're into the second quarter. TJ pointing out five points to two in favour of the Limerick representatives. Not a very easy competition to win this B Championship. Dylan O'Shea. A hundred percent record intact for Dylan O'Shea, four points. He doesn't miss too many, certainly not missing them this afternoon at the Gaelic Grounds in Limerick. And a very fine afternoon for this college's final. Yeah, great striking by Dylan, 4-4. Four to four, And I said, just four points between the teams. And just the last few minutes there, like Rice College just giving away maybe a couple of frees, too many more than they'd like. And I said, look, hospital's starting to put them on the scoreboard. Blood substitution on the Rice College of Ennis team needed. Bradley Higgins, their centre half back, is the player that appears to be going off momentarily. Niall O'Brien, possibly the player that's going on. Eamon Foody lofts this one forward as far as Morgan Gary. Breaks away from him, picked up by Mark Quinlan. Quinlan opening up the opposition, feeding it back towards Dylan O'Shea. Can score from open play as well. Star performer so far, Dylan O'Shea. Five points. Yeah, scored a game so far. Brilliant work by Mark Quinlan. Great layoff and great strike again by Dylan, but definitely scored a game so far. 7 2. A lot more urgency as well in today's final. Eamon Foodie's looking for options. Goes right on this occasion. Five points, suddenly the margin between the two teams. John de Baptist of Hospital, the team on top. Pop forward as far as inside forward line. Ono Mahoney beaten to it by Arne Maloney. Maloney as far as Owen Fitzgerald not winning it. And here's Dylan O'Shea. And they win it back against the odds. Mikey O'Grady. Here's Owen Sheehan. Very short hand pass. Couldn't have been shorter. Touched away by Connor Kearns. Ennis are moving forward as far as an open space. There's two against one. John the Baptist of Hospital, the team with two players, 
Brian O'Grady and right now Kevin Bonner. Here's Ty Gledden. Ryan Tobin with Rory Brennan. Brennan is having a decent match in the number two shirt for Rice College of Ennis. Hospital feeding it back as far as their centre half forward going for a goal. It took a wicked deflection off a defender and it's out for the first 65 of the day. Yeah, Hospital definitely on top now the last few minutes and Rice College will be keen to get their centre back there who seems to have some kind of a cut on his knee back into the, back into the game because he had been hurling quite well. But yeah, definitely the last few minutes, Hospital on top creating the chances as they have pushed five points clear. Opportunity now with a 65 to put another one on the board. That opportunity will be with their midfielder once again, Dylan O'Shea. Five points he's credited so far in the game. The midfielder for John the Baptist Hospital, Limerick. Clean lift. Looks to be a pretty good strike. You can never doubt this fella. Another score this time from a 65. Yeah, exhibition of striking so far. Um, Rice College centre back Bradley Higgins is back in. That, that blood sub has been reversed. And so they need to get a score now. As I said, with six points in it, they need to get a score. Everything going hospital's way with Owen Sheehan, Gary Spillane. Here's Sheehan going the left side. That's dropped as far as the 30. Good fielding. Hospital holding on to it with Ryan Tobin. That one popped in towards the goal. And now it's beginning to click for Ryan e. Tobin. Yeah, great hands by Ryan Tobin there. Scored a brilliant goal in the semi-final as well. Good work by Owen Sheehan down the right-hand side. But definitely Hospital and top known most positions. And as I said, starting to make a count. Certainly Rice College of Venice need to get to a grip with the situation that's in front of them here at the Gaelic Grounds in Limerick this lovely afternoon for the college's hurling final. Stroke forward by Brian O'Grady, intercepted by Bradley Higgins, who TJ points out just back on the field of play. Going over to win this for Hospital, their defender Kevin Bonner of Bruff. Bonner feeds it as far as his centre half forward, Pody Maher. Maher turns on to his preferred right side, floats over a decent score. The entire half forward line now have scored for hospital. Yeah, half forward starting to move well, but you also have to say that Kevin Bonner is playing a sweeper role here particularly well. He's covering over and back, and I said just Rice College find it difficult to get any sort of decent possession in their forwards. Plenty of bodies around midfield. Killian Rahun looking for it. Doesn't work out for him. In the end, the advancing player oh. has been well carried too far. Paul O'Heaney. It's going yeah. to be a free, and this free is for Ennis. Paul was claiming he was being held there. It looked like it for a second, right? Like, but uh, the free deemed to have said he overcarried the ball. It's an opportunity for Rice College of Ennis. They need to make the most of this. They're eight points behind. And around as many minutes left in the first half. Connor Tierney has scored one free. This one is going to drop short. It would appear batted out by the defence who are able to deal with the tricky situation and the hospital are emerging with it, stylishly so. And who else than Dylan O'Shea? He's been everywhere today for John the Baptist of Hospital. Fed forward towards Owen O'Mahony. O'Mahony looking for an option inside, cut out by Keane McInerney. McInerney delivers it as far as Connor Kearns. In addition, Alan Culligan is there. A lot of the Innes players inside their own half of the field. This time it's Connor Devitt up to the 45. Free certainly won that time. Yeah, like I said, there, Rice College have retreated a good bit. Of kind of just a lot of time only having two and three forwards, kind of inside 65 yards, just finding it hard to get position. And hence, at this stage in the game, 23 minutes in, only two points on the board, and you know one of them is from a free. Connor Tierney and Keane McInerney, the score is so far for Rice College Venice in today's under 18 and a half B hurling final in Munster. Tierney sending that one just inside the right hand upright, but it's good enough. Second point for him. That's been the first score in a good while now for Rice College Venice. They're still ticking along. Yeah, score they badly need. It's certainly, and at this stage, 23 minutes in, hospital leading 10-3. So as I said, it's just 
on top in most areas, winning the break and ball, and I mean, probably full value for their seven point lead at the moment. And in fairness, when you look back, Rice College Men has had a couple of chances of goals early on compared to just one for Hospital. Rice College looking for possession, and they have it, and more importantly, they've won the free also. Hospital just to keep their heads as well. Ty Gledden has drawn the attention of the referee, Fergal Horgan of Tipperary. Yeah, the other thing too, I suppose, to be fair to Rice College, is they're probably playing into whatever bit of a breeze is there, Melon. Looking at the flags there behind the goals, it's reasonably strong. It's probably worth a couple of points. Yellow card has been shown to Ty Gledden. Keen McInerney normally has a good belt of the ball, and this is one of those. Up towards the fringe of the square. Anybody get a touch to it? It's out. 65. 65. Confirmation of that substitution. Matthew Davenport has been introduced for David Maloney on the Rice College NS team. little bit of a breeze in the face of the free taker Connor Tierney from the 65 lofts this one towards the goal that's a much better effort by him he still has three points to his credit one or two went west on him but he has three points and he's keeping his team in this match yeah there's a couple of scores definitely helped the scoreboard from Rice College point of view so as you said a bit of a breeze there but yeah need maybe another score or two before half time Matthew Davenport in the action straight away here's Keane McInerney McInerney trying to slip it through to Connor Tierney doesn't work out. Hospital read the situation ever so well in defence, even though they've a player down at the back at the moment. That release forward was by Brian O'Grady. That's a free. Yeah, just, I suppose the referee just deemed Bradley Higgins kind of push Paddy Maher there on, on, on the back. So, yeah, free 45 yards out. So, a chance for Hospital to tackle another one. The odds would be very short on Dylan O'Shea on this occasion. No more than 48 metres out from the goal or thereabouts. Six points, the margin between the two teams. John de Baptist of Hospital have that lead, but how often have we seen it, games like this at college's level, turn in split seconds? No fear of it, Dylan O'Shea throws it over the crossbar once again. Yeah, it's kind of been the story of the first half, really. Seven points now from, from Dylan Fife and Freeze, 165 and one from play. Killian Rohan got a brief touch for it. Right now advancing Owen Fitzgerald. Ball popped into the centre. One back by the Emily fullback for hospital, Connor Phipps. Up with the action, Morgan Gary. Gary looking to cut away through on the right side of the attack, stopped by Kieran O'Donnell. The advantage played for the Limerick team. Now the referee, Fergal Hogan of Tipperary, awards the free. Yeah, I think he did a free given before. A half chance there, is it in fairness to Owen Fitzgerald? He kind of did broke inside the hospital half back line and just passed going astray for a second. Chasing down towards half time. Seven points, the difference between the two teams. John de Baptist of Hospital lead Rice College of Ennis. They're looking for further scores. Michael O'Grady, O'Grady's going low and he finds the goal. Eamon Foodie will be disappointed with that, but it's a goal for John de Baptist of Hospital. It was coming for a while and it arrives in the 28th minute. Yeah, you were always going to say a goal was going to be a big score. Just to come just before half time, massive score for Hospital. Great work in fairness by Michael O'Grady. Ground shot, low shot. Yeah, maybe the keeper would have been disappointed, but bottom line is ends up in the corner of the net. First goal of today's final. Big ask now of Rice College Venice, but they're equal to the challenge. We've seen that so many times from them throughout the course of the 2017 campaign. Brian O'Grady launching it from midfield. That's a big effort by him. Goalkeeper under pressure. It's over the crossbar. Score will be credited to Brian O'Grady. Yeah, great strike for Brian Grady, great score. And you probably see the effects of the breeze there, just carrying that all the way over the bar. Eamon Foody feeds it away towards Connor Tierney. Ball slips neatly into the path of Connor Kearns. 
Kearns looking for a way through. Late challenge was by Paulie Matter. Connor Tierney's tee with just four points to their credit. He has scored three of those. Two frees and a 65. Tierney strokes it through. Square ball is being called by the referee. Resulting free is for Brian Heavey, Gary Spillan, the hospital goalkeeper. Heavey knocks this one downfield towards Pody Maher. Maher gets a very brief touch to place it into the path of the advancing corner forward, Ryan Tobin. Tobin looking for a score, drills it smack between the uprights. Second point for Tobin. Yeah, in fairness, he's been good at corner forward. And, you know, I suppose like 113 heading for half time is a good first half return for hospital. And, I mean, it'll please enough. Yeah, referee calling for the ball now. Absolutely no injury time at the end of this first half. It's been a very first, very good first 30 minutes or so as well for John the Baptist of Hospital, who lead here against their opponents, Rice College of Venice, on a convincing half time scoreline of one goal and 13 to four points. Yeah, you'd probably say, man, fairly full value for there as well. Definitely kind of in the middle piece of there they took over. They missed a few chances early on. Story of the first half would be, I suppose, maybe the goal there towards the end, kind of putting a nice glass on the scoreboard for them. The accuracy of Dylan O'Shea, but overall the forwards moving a little bit better. Rice College have stuck with the sweeper system for the moment. They're struggling to get decent position up front. So at the moment, half time, you know, I mean, hospital in a very nice 12 point lead. 30 minutes to go from the Gaelic grounds in Limerick in the Munster under 18 and a half B hurling final. The teams involved John the Baptist Hospital, Rice College of Ennis, half time. This is a live stream from the Gaelic Grounds in Limerick featuring highlights of the opening half of the Munster under 18 and a half B hurling final involving John the Baptist of Hospital, their opponents Rice College of Ennis. The team in black and amber are the hospital team going well in the first half as you can see.
This is the Gaelic Grounds in Limerick, awaiting the start of the second half. Munster College's B hurling final involving John the Baptist of Hospital and Rice College of Ennis. The Limerick team, John the Baptist of Hospital, holding a healthy advantage as we await the start of the second half. They lead by 113 to 4 points. TJ Ryan joining us in commentary this afternoon, looking at the halftime situation with the second half about to start. It's a long way back for Rice College Venice, but not beyond possibility at this level. No, it's certainly never never beyond possibility. They certainly need to make a good start to the second half. They need to get a couple of scores on the board. It will be interesting to see if they kind of persist with their, their, their kind of sweeper system or defensive system. They only had kind of a couple of forwards inside the 45 there most of the first half. So I think they're going to have to maybe push on. They have to get a good start. They have to get a couple of scores. Um, their forwards didn't score from play in that first half. The four-point return, they got one point from Keen McInerney and the other three came from place balls. You might know, I saw Holly Coffey involved in the warm-up. He must be involved too with the hospital team. Yeah, Holly does a bit of work in hospital there and has been doing for a good number of years. So, look, as I said, it's a strong hospital team. Look, they're hurling well, coached well and moving well. And they've put themselves in a very good position at half-time. So, I suppose they'll be looking to, for the opposite to kind of cement their position at the start of the second half. They certainly are favourites to lift the Tom Cullum Cup at the end of this match. Tom Cullum, formerly of... West Limerick, then of Tipperary, a member of Angora Shea who did a, a lot of work in terms of the promotion of schools activity on the GA front in his adopted county of Tipperary for a great number of years. Owen O'Mahony's back. I think we're about to start the second half. Good man, Owen. Rice College, Keane McInerney. They need the very brightest of starts. They have a free Morgan Gary, the player that was holds down. Yeah, good possession won by Keane McInerney in the middle of the field. Just as I said, that's exactly what they need. Free here now, try and get a score on the board and try and build a bit of confidence around the pitch. They seem to have started the second half with six forwards, so let's see how that progresses. And they have the benefit of a, a marginal enough breeze, but it, it is a breeze, I'll say. It's a breeze, it's worth something, yeah. Connor Tierney with his free. A difficult enough angle for him. Three points he's credited in the first half. One of those from a 65. Two players on the goal line for John the Baptist of Hospital. If anything were to go amiss, it's going for the goal, and it's a goal. I was just reckoning it. If something wasn't to go right, which it hasn't for the hospital team, it's a goal for Connor Tierney and Rice College of Venice have a dream start to the second it's half. A, a perfect start inside a minute to get a goal. Looked like he didn't hit it or didn't catch it as well as he'd like. Mistake on the goal line, so goal. Yeah, great start for them. It won't win goal of the year, but it's a goal. Meanwhile, hospital looking for a response. Dylan O'Shea is human. He's missed it. Yeah, as I said, look, 113 to 1-4 now. Very start of the second half. A little bit of a breeze. So from Rice College, look to, they look to build on this, try and tack on a point or two and get themselves back in the game. Eamon Foody brings play out field. Hospital win possession. They've gained a lot of ground and they're gaining even more so with Mark Quinlan. Quinlan has popped it in, but it's not inside that right hand upright. It's a second wide inside the first two minutes. Yeah, he did everything right. He deserved a score. He's been playing very, very well there at right cornerback position. So kind of took it all the way up and just will be disappointed with the finish. The game very much alive once again. One goal and 13 to one goal and four. Driven outfield, that's a very good one. It falls all the way inside the attacking 45 for Rice College of Venice, and they have possession as well. Matthew Davenport looking to make an impression as a substitute, and he does. He was brought on towards the end of the first half, did well, and is now 
starring. Yeah, good hands there. You'd have to say a serious score. And I suppose, look, the key difference at the start of the second half is it looks like as if Rice College have pushed on. And said so they are playing only six defenders here. So I said back to kind of normal formation and certainly made a good start to the second half. Ryan Heavey resumes the action in the college's hurling final. Possession with Rice College. Connor Kearns. Hands under pressure but manages to do well and feeds Keane McInerney. McInerney dropping it low. Goalkeeper should be able to deal with this. No need to do so because it's just rolled out over the end line. Yeah, good player Keane McInerney. Great hook there just as he was about to strike the ball by Dylan. So in two good players going head to head there in the middle of the field. Good to see. Ball dropping, Mick Mackey stands side of the Gaelic grounds. Rice College, Connor Tierney for them, not for long. Sean Teefy intercepts. Here's Teefy of Hospital. Needs to release it quickly back towards Kevin Bonner. Hospital are under pressure, but they've done well. This is Kevin Bonner. Slips it through towards his full forward line. Pressure for Rice College of Venice. Owen Sheehan. Here's Sheehan unable to get any shot. He does in the end, but it's well wide. Yeah, it was credit and Dylan there with a good hook there a while ago. Great defence there by um, Rice College. Good hooks and blocks. Good touch by Owen Sheen initially, but good work by the defence to kind of force the wide. Him and Foody thought about the very quick goal delivery outfield. The referee was having none of it, so he'll have to take that goal puck out from the clear goal end once again. Dylan O'Shea earns a free. Into the fifth minute now, the second half. Hospital awaiting their first score of this half. Dylan O'Shea has the distance with this one. What about the accuracy? Not quite on target. Yeah, just a couple of ways there for Hospital again, starting the second half. So, yeah, the Rice College certainly on the scoreboard have made a better start to the second half. The goal being a big boost for them, courtesy of Connor Tierney. Struggling for it, Oshin Cattle. Possession is for Rice College of Venice. Connor Tierney is over there. A few players for Rice College of Venice really coming into the thick of the game. Yeah, just starting to win a few more breaks around the middle of the field. And I think definitely them pushing on has kind of maybe put a little bit more pressure on maybe the hospital defence. And it's starting to suit Rice College a small bit, I think. Rice College of Venice wind assisted in this half. Have a free struck forward by Connor Tierney going towards the right and the forward line unable to keep it in that time yeah just didn't catch that they kind of need to get every one of these in the second half you know they're still even though they've made a good start in the second half they're still eight down need a score or two and just kind of keep tacking away at the scoreboard Ryan Heavey a little bit busier than he would have reckoned at half time at the fifth or sixth minute point of this second <laughs> half Dylan O'Shea O'Shea making progress looking for Owen Sheen inside hasn't worked out and his win possession back and Connor Kearns drives it forward. One and one back there. Hospital deal with a potentially dangerous situation. Out it comes towards Kevin Bonner. Good play. Hospital managing to release it outfield with Kieran O'Donnell that time. That's a nice piece of fielding. Free earned by Sean Teefy, Bally Bricken. Yeah, big possession winner there. In fairness, that's what you want to have forwards to do in times when you're under a little bit of pressure. Just win the primary possession. Got fouled and he's drawn the free. Opportunity for Dylan O'Shea to get Hospital's first score in the second half. In the first half, it was all about Dylan O'Shea scoring seven points. Bulk of which were from dead ball situations, including a 65. Dylan O'Shea strikes Super. this one perfectly. Smack between the uprights this time. His eighth point of the afternoon. Yeah, he cut that one smack on. Good strike. Hospital's first score as had come six and a half minutes in. And, you know, he'll probably have stemmed the flow. Early four points for, we we'll say, with that goal in the point for Rice College start the second half. So just Hospital just needed a score to keep them in a good position. The Ina Kilnamona goalkeeper drops it outfield towards Conor Devitt. Devitt is onto this one. Ball runs nicely for him. That's a clash ball. But it's a 65 given. Yeah, block, good block down by, by Dylan there again. Good hunting back and 
you know, I suppose it's that type of work rate. That's what kind of wins competitions. Early days in the second half, but maybe Rice College should think about dropping this one short. Yeah, I suppose maybe as like it's probably early days with the breeze if they can kind of get a couple of more points kind of put a bit of pressure on them I think in games like this you could try and get inside six maybe put a bit of pressure on then hope maybe the goal comes at some stage is going to give you a chance Connor Tierney on duty this time the Dura Bearfield free taker for Rice College of Venice hospital learning from an earlier mistake they've three or four players on the goal line watching this one float over their heads one goal in six now for Rice College. Yeah, good strike again by Conor Tierney in fairness. He's been their scorer in chief and you know, he's got 1-4 out of it. I know they've all come from place balls, but they're, they're important. And they said, look, from their point of view, they just need to keep it going now, keep the momentum going in their favour and keep getting a score or two. That goes over the head of Dylan O'Shea. Plenty of support play. One of those is Pody Maher as far as O'Shea. O'Shea being pursued by a couple of challenges from the Rice College Ennis side of things Alan Culligan is very much stalemate between the attacking 45 and 65 eventually will come loose maybe towards Connor Devitt right now Paddy Maher it's anybody's ball really after all that the ball does sweep its way forward towards Connor Tierney who wins a free yeah, good honest battle by both sides there, looking to get a break in the ball, Rice College come well. Tierney takes the free very quickly, up towards Morgan Gary. Gary being challenged by Kieran O'Donnell. Also on the scene, Matthew Davenport, the free is for hospital. Yeah, good play by Kieran O'Donnell there, good solid cornerback play, kind of held his ground and he's won his free. The hospital management team, a reminder, Michael Martin, James Devereux and David Balfrey. Very happy at half time, maybe not as happy 10 minutes into the second half, but things are going rather well for them. Rice College grabbing possession in the heart of their own defence. That's away by Connor Kearns, wearing nine, but started the game at left half back. His team have won a free. Connor Tierney will likely take that free himself. Yeah, Kevin Bonner in first has been impressive as well through the game, and you know, another good free win, another opportunity here for Dylan. Substitution on the John the Baptist Hospital team with the introduction of Bradley McNamara of Bruff. Free meanwhile is for Dylan O'Shea. O'Shea halfway between the 45 and 65. No bother at all. Yeah, his striking has been impeccable all day. Absolutely nailing free after free after free. So really punishing nice college every opportunity he gets. Ty Gledden, the player that has been brought off the hospital team. A little bit unlucky this afternoon. Picked up a yellow card, I seem to recall as well, in that first half. Hospital holding on to it with Owen Sheehan. Ball goes into the path of the advancing Owen O'Mahony. O'Mahony on the run looking for a score. And that's beautiful Hurley. Yeah, he's just been moved to centre forward here in the last few minutes. So, Mahoney with Paddy Maher going in full, like, good score. That's how it's going to be line ball for John the Baptist off hospital. One goal in 16 for them, one goal in six. Ten points the margin between the two teams. It stood at 12 at half time. Yeah, Rice College definitely made a better start to the second half, but you the last few minutes, hospital getting stronger again. Malin just looking at a little bit kind of more comfortable in the ball now. Paul O'Heaney feeds it forward, comes nicely into the path of this player who drops it over, and that's Cody Maher, the captain. Yeah, that switch has certainly worked there with Owen O'Mahony and Paddy Maher there just moving around, both have got scores there in the last minute. Play to halfway and Keane McInerney. As TJ pointed out, more structure to the Rice College in his attack. This time it doesn't work out that well for them the free earned by John the Baptist of Hospital Mark Quinlan having a tidy match Paul O'Heaney likely to take this free full back line are doing well that includes Kieran O'Donnell of Palace Green and the full back from Emily Connor Phipps new man up there Bradley McNamara drops behind towards Connor Kearns for Rice College of Venice 
Plenty of players outside. One of those is Keane McInerney. In the end, it's Bradley Higgins. Higgins, the advantage has been allowed to Conor Devitt. It wasn't working out. Referee correct. Fergal Hogan of Tipperary giving the free. This is the resulting free from just inside the own half. It's just dropped away towards the left. It was a pity from a Rice College Ennis perspective that you, they just couldn't keep the ball alive in there towards the edge of the square. Yeah, kind of heading towards the kind of midway point of the second half. You know, as I said, Hospital have weathered the early storm, got themselves in a good position. And, you know, I suppose really you'd expect them to maybe kick on and win the game here. You know, as it's top in a lot of positions, their backs are playing well. So just have hurled themselves into a very good position in general. Rice College of Venice are thinking about making another substitution. If so, that's likely to be Paul Hogan. Up with the action in Rice College. Have it with Morgan Gary making a little bit of headway down the right side of the attack. Good interception by Kieran O'Donnell. Matthew Davenport. Davenport for Ennis. Looking for options. Good ball. Good feeling. Connor Devitt and a very good score. Yeah, good, good work there in, in fairness on the ball there by Rice College, resulting in a good score for Conor Devitt. So they just need to get more of that, need to get a couple of scores. And you know, I mean, it's hard to see where they're going to come from, maybe inside with the hospital full back line playing well, but they've got to keep at it and keep trying. It's a 10 point game heading into the last quarter. Killian Rohan, the player that's been brought off the Rice College in his team, the new man that's on for them is Paul Hogan. little bit of holding 50 50 situation the referee calls it play falls forward for john the baptist of hospital they're looking for something that's going right the goalkeeper is anxious to take the resulting goal puck out quickly that was mikey o'grady the goal scorer for the first half that had the effort yeah they've had nine wides in total and maybe it's it one or two could have, could have gone over but in general as i said in fairness their scoring rate 117 this stage in the game has been quite impressive Approaching the midway mark in the second half, it's 117 to 17. John the Baptist Hospital lead Rice College of Ennis, and the Munster Colleges under 18 B final 2017, live from the Gaelic Grounds Limerick. Keen McInerney standing over this one. McInerney pumps it towards the full forward line. Not for the first time, they can't be at the end of it. The full forward line that included there, Morgan Gary. Yeah, four wides in the second half. And I suppose given in a position that Rice College are in, which is 10 points down, heading into the last quarter, they probably need every single one of those and need as many more as they can to try and make some bit of an inroad into this lead. Play has just gone a little bit flat at the moment. Brian Heavey, the player in possession. He's the goalkeeper for John de Baptist of Hospital. Launches this one well outfield. Dylan O'Shea under it alongside Keane McInerney. McInerney has possession. Looking for Oshin Cahill. He's the new man. New man from the start. Oshin Cahill looking for a score. That's been well blocked down. Hacked away by Pody Mahar. Out towards Mikey O'Grady for Hospital. O'Grady emerging from trouble. O'Grady drops it as far as Bradley McNamara. Whipped away from him. Paul O'Heaney. There as well is Mikey O'Grady. Rice College of Ennis regained possession. That's a very short hand pass. Doesn't work out. John Baptist of Hospital. Air in a line ball right at halfway. Yeah, you'd have to say that midfield sector there with Mikey O'Grady and Dylan O'Shea in the middle of the field for hospital. They've been very strong. Both of them have got scores on the board and won plenty of ball. And winning that battle there has probably given hospital the platform to be in the position they're in right now. This the cut and is a fairly decent one as well from the stake of Paul O'Heaney. Rushing onto it, Bradley McNamara opening up a gap. Three times. Too many steps, Bradley. Well, he, he cut it three times, I think, because it was, it was with referee, so yeah. So Either way, it didn't work, it out, didn't for work him. out for him. Yeah. Hot arm, Bradley. There'll be other days.
A little bit of ball juggling on the part of a couple of players. Hospital Howard with Owen O'Mahony. O'Mahony shortens the grip to feed this one forward as far as the 45. Breaks outside towards Sean Teefy. Riney Tobin right now. Riney Tobin didn't hit that one well. And keepers in big hurry now, so getting the play on the way straight away. Brought it to his own defensive 45. Suddenly it's transferred towards the opposite 45. Came off the sticks of the of the stick of the full back. Connor Phipps. Referee has spotted something. It's going to be advantage to Rice College of Ennis. Still 10 points the difference between these two teams. Yellow card is being shown to the hospital fullback. That's Connor Phipps. Not quite so sure what happened, but it's going to all result with this free that has been sent in and dropped wide. Yeah, another killer blow there for Rice College. I said, I mean, they've had a couple of place balls gone wide in the second half now, and I said, every one of them hurt at this level. We are 10 points down. There's no question about it, but that Rice College of Venice need a rush of scores and at the heart of those scores they really need a goal time it's against them where 19 minutes played in the second half the referee added no injury time at the end of the first Connor Phipps blocked down but the advantage is still with him in terms of a line ball Paul Ohini of Emily is keen to take it it's kind of hard to see where that goal is going to come from from Rice College at the moment. I know they got one year start second half from a free, but in general, hospital full back line playing well, half back line playing reasonably well as well, and just in general, the forwards for Rice College not making that major inroads that you'd like to see to try and get on top to try and get a couple of scores. This is a pioneering initiative by the Munster GA Council streaming live today's Munster College's B Hurling final involving Rice College of Venice and John de Baptist of Hospital. John de Baptist of Hospital, the team with the commanding lead of 10 points, one goal in 17 to one goal in 10. Here are the underdogs right now moving forward. Rice College of Venice fed forward towards their full forward line, 25 metres out from the goal, slipped back neatly towards Paul Hogan. Hogan loses out. Hospital have possession and courtesy of Kevin Bonner. They drop play towards the centre of the park, picked up by Dylan O'Shea. O'Shea from the centre of the park. That is a truly glorious score by O'Shea. Yeah, I think that move kind of sums up Hospital. Brilliant block by Marky Quinlan. Great play again by Kevin Bonner, bringing the ball out of the fence and finding Dylan in a smashing score from the middle of the field. Just kind of sums up Hospital and the way they're playing today. Without fear of contradiction, he is the top scorer by the proverbial mile this afternoon. Dylan O'Shea chipped in with seven points in the first half, three or so in the second half. It's been a day to remember for him. Yeah, really good striker the ball, good athlete, and you know he's part of the Limerick minor setup as well, and certainly one for the future. Brian O'Grady being spoken to. That's a second yellow card for members of the hospital defence. And at this point, they can be looking forward to an All-Ireland series either way. They don't want to lose a player for that. Rice yeah. College, that one has gone to the right. Just discipline will be important for hospital in the concluding yeah, eight absolutely, minutes or absolutely. so. Absolutely, and it's said even there, you see, the, the, I suppose the, the importance of those place balls, and like by my records, the last five frees that uh, Rice College have got, they've kind of hit them wide. You know, I mean, they make a big difference in the scoreboard, and Dylan on the other side has been nailing everything that he's got for, for hospital, and you know, I suppose if you win competitions, you need to make sure you take all your chances. It's like waiting for a bus. One never arrives, the next thing there's two, now he's four slither, so play can resume, and it's Kevin Bonner bringing play from his own defence and Brian O'Grady rather throwing it over towards the right side of his attack an attack that have been pretty impressive this afternoon John de Baptist of Hospital that one's been touched on the ground, the ground by Bradley McNamara free for Rice College of Venice Eamon Foodie is in a massive rush to take this one big ball bombed forward 
Not for the first time. Good feeling by Mark Quinlan. Yeah, he's been very impressive all day. And in fairness, the substitute there, Bradley McNamara, who's come on for hospital, he's been lively in the full forward line as well. Just a little bit unlucky there. But as I said, he'll go back to the full back line for hospital. They've just been solid all the way through. And just as I said, Rice College is struggling to just be able to break him down and not create the chances. A little bit of physio needed. The referee, though, is allowing play to continue. That play will continue with the free. Paul O'Heaney takes it with a man down on the field. Rice College Venice are down to 14 players. A question of call. Ryan Tobin. Will it fall up on the stick for him? It does. Here's Ryan e. Tobin looking for his players inside. Oh. It's gone left. But there's an earlier free. free that was Bradley McNamara. It went past Paddy Maher. It's a free anyhow. The advantage mustn't have been allowed or yeah, something. Yeah, probably deserved a goal in fairness. Great, great work by Ryan Tobin. Good ball again. And again, in fairness, Bradley McNamara in the, in the right position. Just unlucky with the finish. But referee goes back for the earlier infringement, yeah. Rice College of Venice have not had a player yellow carded in this match, but that's about to change here, I reckon, with their team trailing one goal in 18 to one goal in seven points, and there is that yellow card. Dylan O'Shea, will he go for the goal? Unlikely the way he's standing over this one, 20 metres out from the goal, he's going to go high. Wise call by him, it's smack between the uprights. Yeah, it's point number 11 for Dylan, which is a fair haul and a, and a Munster final day. So, yeah, really, really, really good achievement. His striking has been very good all day. At centre field, Sean Teefy. Free one by the attacker. It's a free for John the Baptist of Hospital. Yeah, this one a good bit further out, but another opportunity to see Dylan. But I have to say as well, Sean Teefy, a wing forward as well. Man, he's worked hard all day. He's won a few frees. He's won his primary possession. And you know, he's had a big game for Hospital as well. Dylan O'Shea is this within his range it's against the breeze 11 points so far in the game he's going for it though here he is that one is drifting towards the right it wasn't too far away no, I suppose it's just, just missed one but I said overall been very good like so substitution John O'Donnell of Palace Green, the player that's been introduced into the John the Baptist Hospital team. Ryan Tobin making way two points. Bit of a vision problem for Connor Devitt, but he has played back. Referee saw that. Fergal Hogan of Tipperary just explaining the reason that they had to stop play. It's a throw in. That throw in has been taken very, very smartly. Hospital have possession, and here's Bradley McNamara, busy as a bee as ever. He threw it up and caught it, but basically it kind of fell out of his hand and it fell yeah, back. Yeah, I was going to harsh enough, yeah, but he said he's been fair to him. He's been busy and he's been lively. He's got a bit of pace, like so. Yeah, deserves no score before the end of the game, no doubt. Eamon Foody, left side of strike to come from the goalkeeper. That's a massive one way way down the field of play hospital need to be alert here scrum type situation back in the heart of the defense for john the baptist of hospital tumbling over kieran o'donnell Marky Quindle was the player that got it out, but only as far as the team captain for Rice College of Venice. And Alan Culligan has shot that one surprisingly wide. Yeah, kind of probably good opportunity for a score there. But again, hospital full back them winning the battle. They've won more than their fair share there in the second half. And, you know, that's kind of been the story today, really. 119 for hospital, Rice College, Ennis, one goal and seven. Rice College pick up possession and Alan Culligan, Rory Brennan. Brennan feeds it down the left side towards Matthew Davenport, who has impressed. Davenport advancing, still Davenport looking for a score himself, throwing it in towards the goal, just short, and it's into the net. Second goal of this half for Rice College of Venice, Matthew Davenport with the goal. 
Yeah, we're kind, of, we're kind of all expecting maybe Brian to kind of catch that, and you know, he will be disappointed with that. But maybe it's a bit little too late, I suppose, from Rice College point of view. But you have to say, in fairness to Match Davenport, he's come on, he's got his goal on the point, and I mean, he's looked impressive, in fairness to him. Brian Heavey pucks the slither out. This is going to be a free. Fergal Hogan of Tipperary spotting that. Rice College of Venice could suddenly get a rush of blood to the head. This is Connor Tierney, another difficult one for the defence to deal with. Goalkeeper grabs it late on, wins a free, Brian Heavey. Yeah, better hands this time by Brian and Ferris. He said he'd be disappointed himself to, with, with, with the last goal. So, um, yeah, kind of, he's, he's, he's got the hand to that one at the right time. But, yeah, heading towards two minutes to go, you'd imagine that it's a, it, it, it is game over at this stage. Hospital have done enough. And, you know, 119 is fair clipping. And they probably will be disappointed with the two goals they've conceded. There is also an All-Ireland Championship series to look forward to for Rice College of Venice and John the Baptist of Hospital. But that's for another day. Right now, it's very much looking that it's going to be a good day for John the Baptist of Hospital as they are on the brink of winning the Munster Under-18 B hurling title of 2017. Yeah, it's my little bit of pushing and shoving there. I think it's a free to hospital is what the referee has given. So I'd say that's what's going to stand. Free taker, none other than Dylan O'Shea, the game's most outstanding performer. Firing this up towards the front of the attack and John O'Donnell territory comes towards Pody Maher, being pursued by Aaron Maloney. He slipped inside his opponent. There's a chance for Hospital for a late goal. Great, great defensive play. Here's Alan Culligan. Feeds it as far as Rory Brennan. He too comes under torrid pressure late on in the final. Yeah, great touch away by the, the Rice College centre back Bradley Higgins there just at the right time. Connor Herr is about to be sent into the game for Rice College of Venice. I guess two minutes is going on the clock there. Less than three minutes to go in the college's B hurling final in Munster for 2017. John the Baptist of Hospital on the brink of a, a famous day out at the Gaelic Grounds in Limerick. Shortly to be presented with the Tom Cullum Memorial Cup. Sent forward for Rice College of Venice. That's a free. They have no choice now but to hurry things on and go for a goal with Keane McInerney or Owen Fitzgerald. Hospital drawing all their players back on the goal line, including Paul O'Heaney. Dylan O'Shea has gone back as well. That's a blow for Hospital, so... Yeah, so it's second yellow, so it, 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 there, there isn't a suspension, so it's a second yellow card, yeah, for the full-back. Yeah, that's Emily's Connor Phipps. He's gone. Hospital will, will play out the, the latter stages with a player down. They have to go for a goal here, Rice College of Venice. Either way, it's not going to make any huge difference, but just see how it goes. Shot fired in, and it's a goal. Hospital, though they are winning this match, have conceded three goals. That by far the better of the three goals. How it went past the Forest of Hurleys, I'm not so sure. Yeah, and I suppose from Rice College's point of view, the two goals they've got have come just a little bit too little too late. And overall, I think Hospital will be disappointed, certainly with all three goals they've conceded today. And that's something to work on for them to go forward. Brian Heavey, the goalkeeper for Hospital, knocks the slitter outfield. One goal and 19 for Hospital, bringing them on to. 22 points they're in search of a further score from the 45 meter line they're not going to get it this time three goals and seven points rice college of ennis that brings them on to 16 points connor tierney good ball fed forward rice college with the numerical advantage for the injury time period of this final Hospital emerging with a slither after all that. Nice feeling. Cahal O'Halloran. O'Halloran wins the free. Expect this one to be dropped short. Here comes the effort of Connor Tierney looking to trouble the defence once again. This time it's a free out. Fortunately, the hospital management team will think. 
Yeah, square ball. So, yeah, I suppose just a couple of goals there in the second half has kind of made the scoreboard probably look a little bit better for Rice College. But as I said, the two goals just came too late. Brian Heavey with possibly one of the last strikes of the game. It is the last hit of the final. The Munster under 18, the hurling champions of 2017 are John the Baptist of Hospital. They have beaten Rice College of Venice in an entertaining match. One goal and 19 to three goals and seven points. Yeah, great win for Hospital. Definitely the better team on the day. Fully deserving of the victory. They had the better players throughout the pitch. Maybe that period before half time where they got the goal and got a couple of scores. Kind of went, went in 12 points up at half time. That made a big difference. And, you know, whilst Royce College made a difference, it was always going to be hard to eat into 12 points. And overall, the work been done in the school over the last number of years. This is a great bunch of players. Great credit to them and great achievement to win a Munster Championship. Still to come on the Munster GA live streaming this afternoon from the Gaelic Grounds in Limerick. The Dr. Harty Cup final involving Our Lady Simple Moore and St. Coleman's Fermoy. First things though, John the Baptist of Hospital are the B champions for this season. Yeah, it's was a word for Rice College as well. In fairness, they kept plugging away. They got a couple of goals there in the second half. I know they had kind of a couple of injuries there that maybe kind of affected their preparations on the day. But look, as I said, all in all, Hospital better team and deserving winners. Final scoreline once again, John the Baptist Hospital, one goal and 19. Rice College, Ennis, three goals, seven points. Thank you. 